Hey everybody, Jake here for American Trucks, and today I'm chatting with Sean about his 2007 Chevy Silverado. Sean, welcome, thank you for being here with me today. Hey, thanks for having me. So for those of you who are watching at home, Sean is driving a 2007 Chevy Silverado 1500. For wheels, he's got a set of custom-made wheels with Kevlar coating. They are 17 by 10s with a zero millimeter offset, making for an aggressive stance. For tires, he's running the Mickey Thompson Baja MTZ P3 Mud Terrains, and they are 33 by 12 and a half. And for suspension, he's got the Rough Country 5-inch suspension lift kit with the lifted struts and premium M3 shocks, and also a Rough Country 1 and a quarter inch body lift kit. So what made you go with the setup that you have? Was there some kind of inspiration or usage case behind your build when you started out with this? Well, yeah, I mean, honestly, I like a truck that functions and I also wanted something to be a little bit different. And I had the capability uh, because I know somebody that actually has a CNC and we made a set of custom wheels and I got some uh, Scorpion coating and did some Kevlar coating on it so they actually perform, look the way I want to, and it's different from what the people have. Let's talk a little bit about the sizing. So again, these are a 17 by 10 with a zero millimeter offset and it makes kind of an aggressive stance so you've got a little bit of poke out from the fenders. Since you had the option to pick any size and offset of wheel that you wanted, what made you go with the 17 by 10s and the zero millimeter offset? I, I wanted to get it set to where I'd have a little bit of stance and like you said, you know, I want a little bit of poke on it. So the reason I did that is because I set the zero, zero millimeter offset, it actually sit flush with the flares. When you get in a bigger wheel, the reason I went with the 17 inch because you'll lose performance because you're adding weight to the truck. So I wanted a little bit smaller wheel that would perform well enough with the tires that I have to where I've still got enough acceleration and I don't really notice that much of a difference, you know, actually using my truck because I, I need it functional and, you know, I do take it out and I do hit a trailer once in a while. Did you notice a big difference between the stock wheels weight-wise and these new ones once you had them done? Oh yeah, I mean, I can tell a big difference because, I mean, I, I, I lost at least I would say 10 to 12 pounds off per wheel. Did you do the wheels and realize, oh, I need fender flares or did you have the flares first? Probably close to the same time. Um, honestly, I kind of had the look that I was wanting to go for on the truck and I thought the flares was a nice touch to it. So at the same time, I got the flares and I did the wheels at the same time and kind of planned it all together. So again, for tires, John's running the 33 by 12 and a half inch Mickey Thompson Baja MTZ P3 mud terrains. What made you go with the 33s? Was it a clearance type of thing or something else? Um, actually, it was, even though, you know, I've got, I think, like six inches the lower, you know, total lift on the truck, I probably could have went with a little bit bigger tire. But for what I actually use the truck for, even with the 35, sometimes I hit a hill and I do some climbing. So 33 actually functions better for what I'm doing with the truck. Since these are mud terrain and you've kind of alluded to how you use it, can you tell me a little bit more about what it is you do with this truck? Sometimes I'll be out on the farm. Sometimes I'll be, you know, hitting one of the trails here and sometimes there's some mud, sometimes there's a hill. I mean, it's, I actually went with the, you know, MTZs is because I like the side loads because if I get in a precarious situation where if I've got a trench or something, it'll actually help me dig out of it a little bit better. You know, they clean very, very well. I'm, I'm actually amazed on how well these tires clean themselves. So, I mean, I, I can't complain about the tires whatsoever. Do you find them to be noisy or bumpy or anything? No, I mean, honestly, these ride pretty well. And when I say this, you know, Mickey Thompson, and claims that they, you know, ride similar to stock tires. And I'm honestly amazed that it actually, you know, what they claim and the way they handle on the street, uh, I'm, I'm really surprised they do as well as they do. You know, they're not as noisy as I thought they would be. You know, like I said, overall, as, as I'm driving my truck, I don't really see that much of a difference. Once you got this stuff on, the wheels and tires specifically, did you notice the truck feeling any more sluggish since you did upsize? With the engine and the gear that's in the truck, I didn't notice a lot of difference. And did you notice any error with the speedometer or odometer since you went up to a larger size? Um, yes, now I did notice that and I had to uh, get a programmer to adjust that. So again, for suspension, you've got the Rough Country five inch suspension lift kit with the lifted struts and the premium M3 shocks plus the one and a quarter inch body lift kit. What made you go with this setup or this height of lift? Um, well, for one, I like the way the truck looked. 
when I kind of did my virtual mock-up of the truck. And second, it's all about performance for me. I have to have a truck that performs the way I want it to. There's a hill that I normally have to climb and it's probably, you know, 45 degree angle. So, you know, that's kind of where I always test it, you know, cause it's like, all right, well, I don't have any rub. It's going up the hill. It's doing what it's supposed to. It's performing, you know, there we go. Performance. I mean, it's all about performance. Again, you sort of alluded to this earlier, but the way the thing is set up right now with everything, you don't have any issues with rubbing or clearance? No, absolutely not. And you didn't have to do any trimming then, I would assume, since you've got quite a bit of lift and you're not running super big tires. Yeah, and that's, like I said, that was kind of the whole purpose of it. And that, I don't like to cut up a truck that's rust-free because honestly, when I got the truck, it was rust-free. Nice looking truck, and I'm like, I'm not gonna start cutting on it. Did you notice a difference in the ride quality based on that versus your stock setup? I mean, believe it or not, it stiffened it up a little bit. You know, obviously I had to take the truck and get it aligned to get it back to stock, uh, you know, drive and kind of set it to where, you know, the camber and caster was correct on it. But after I got that done, I mean, it drives perfect, you know, and that's kind of what I did. But I also made my own little setup in the front for shock damper because those trucks didn't come out with it. So I kind of made my own thing, which actually, you know, dampens it if you hit a rock or something. And honestly, that's about the only time I can really feel a difference is when I hit. You talked about the alignment thing. You had no issues getting the thing aligned then, I take it. Rough Country did a decent job on this lift. I cannot complain whatsoever because, I mean, obviously you have to modify your uh, front cross member and part of your front because of the piece where it drops it down. But done correctly, and like I said, you know, we did it here in shop, set it down, you know, went off their specifications, got it in there and took it and had it aligned. I mean, it aligned up perfectly and I was, you know, actually there when they done it. So I'm like, wow, you know, I mean, it went right back to uh, stock specs. I mean, just on the machine, you just boom, boom, it's done. I was like, amazing. Knowing what you know now, is there anything you would do differently? Uh, you know, that's a hard question because, I mean, yeah, there's some stuff that I would like to have done. Maybe I would have went a, a little heavier bumper on the front, a winch or something, but overall, it suits my needs and I actually built it the way I wanted it to perform, so I really can't say that I would have changed much as far as the suspension and the tires and wheel. Do you have any more plans for mods for the future? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm thinking about putting the front and rear bumper on it, uh, you know, heavy metal. I've also just recently put a bed cover to the toolbox off the truck because you know I want a little bit more space uh, in the bed and I'm actually going to pull it into my own shop and I'm going to do a custom paint job on it so all right well Sean thank you so much for talking to me about your truck and spending some time with us today this is I think this is a pretty cool build and I'm glad that you were able to join us hey thank you uh, thank you for having me and you know, I'm glad to be here so again for everybody who's watching at home Sean is driving a 2007 Chevy Silverado 1500 He's running some custom made wheels with Kevlar coating. They are 17 by 10s with a zero millimeter offset, making for an aggressive stance. For tires, he's got the Mickey Thompson Baja MTZ P3 mud terrains. These are 33 by 12 and a half. And for suspension, he's got the Rough Country five inch suspension lift kit with the lifted struts and premium M3 shocks, plus a Rough Country one and a quarter inch body lift kit. So Sean, thank you again for being here with me today. Thank you all for watching. And remember for all things Silverado, be sure to keep it right here at americantrucks.com.